Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Hey, my friends, how are you? This is Thunder Rosa. And you guys are watching Tiger Claw Gaming. Stay tuned. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Glad we could finally talk. Especially since you might be hearing some big promises from guys like MVP. But let's cut to the chase. What has he really accomplished? Not much recently. Unless you count riding Bobby Lashley's coattails. Exactly. I like where your head's at. So, why are you getting involved with all this faction stuff? I enjoyed what I had in RK Bro, and it got me thinking about my start in WWE, when I was a part of one of the greatest factions of all time, Evolution. I want to add to my legacy by building an even better version. Interesting. So where do I fit in? I'll be the veteran leader, the Triple H type, and I see the lock in the Phenom role that I held. You're not the guy yet, but with my help, you will be. I seem to recall that you and Evolution didn't end on the best terms. You don't need to worry about that. With me in charge, it will be different. And when the time's right, I'll pass the torch to you and you'll become world champion, just like I did. When will that be? I can't make any promises. Ultimately, it's up to you. Ball's in your court now. Let me know what you want to do. This is a huge decision. I need more time to think it over. Fine, but I'm not gonna wait around forever. Let me know soon, before it's too late. Understood. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. So you're telling me all the faction's efforts would be focused on me? I like the sound of that. Exactly. And look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become the almighty WWE Champion. And I could do the same thing for you, but faster. 
Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project, and you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? <laughs> you sold me. I'm ready to join the Hurt Business. All right, let's go! Now, like I said, you have all the tools and you're ready for prime time. But I think with some extra work, I can get you to a whole other level. Just like I helped Bobby Lashley become the Almighty. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sounds good. See you then.
Joining Hurt Business feels like a major milestone in my career. Holding the Intercontinental Championship has been huge, but this seems like it could be the start of something bigger. You think this will be any different, though, than the previous Hurt Business that ultimately fell apart? I know MVP can sometimes say one thing and do another, he talks a big game. So I'm going to keep my guard up. But I'm hoping he means everything he said. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue who else will be joining this new Hurt business? MVP said he's still looking for the ideal third member to complement my skills. I guess we'll find out who that is soon enough. Well, someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? I'm not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. We heard rumors that MVP was reforming the Hurt business. This must be it. But who else is in the limo? It's the lock. What a crew MVP has assembled. MVP might have done the legwork, but it looks like the lock is calling the shots as the new CEO. The Hurt Business is back and stronger than ever. We got people talking, but now I want to put all of WWE on notice. Let them know the Hurt Business runs this show. And the best way to do that is by building up our assets, a.k.a. acquiring more championships. You think I'm ready to go after the WWE title? I do. But let's build up to that. I've used my influence to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. So we just need to beat the Street Profits? Easy. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Theory and Damian Priest from Orton's new version of Evolution. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Imitation is admiration. But enough about them. I've decided you two will represent the Hurt Business in the tag title match. That's why I recruited you in the first place, to win these types of high stakes matches. And I know you'll deliver. You want us to acquire more championships? Well, after this match, I'll be holding two. We got this. It's two-thirds of the Hurt Business ready for tag team action. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. And it's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challenger at a combined weight of 494 pounds. Max the Savage and Gabriel Slate the the Intercontinental Champion and Gabriel could reshape this entire tag team division if they click tonight. Sure, if the lock's actually ready for a partner. Time to see if MVP's newest partners are ready to go into business together or close up shop. And at a combined weight, 469 pounds, Damian Priest and Austin Theory Evolution. Ladies and gentlemen, by night's end, we will crown a new champion. And no offense to you, Cole, but part of me wishes Gorilla Monsoon was here for this match, just so we can hear him say history has been made at the conclusion.
is one of the most entertaining teams in WWE history. Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford, the Street Profits. Two of the toughest tag team competitors around. And at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough. And they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I don't even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. The Street Profits will defend the Raw Tag Team titles here tonight against Damian Priest and Theory and the brand new team of The Lock and Gabriel Slade. The Lock may have a new look and a new faction, but he's looking to carry over his previous success. I can't wait to see if MVP's newest business venture lives up to the hype. Vicious right there. Gabriel with a counter. 
CEO of the Hurt Business is doing everything in his power to counter. Priest nails the crucifix powerbomb. Evolution looks to walk out as champions. Montez Ford with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Clearly, that wasn't how we wanted that match to go, but now we need to focus on what's next. How are we going to regroup? Here's the thing. I had a lot of time to reflect on the failures of the original Hurt Business. And one of my key takeaways is that I wasn't hands-on enough. So that's going to change now. What are you getting at? I thought I was the CEO. You are. And that's exactly why I don't need you focusing on the tag championships. The lock should be concerned with singles matches. That's more important for where you're headed. So me and Gabe will worry about going after the tag titles. I had the match won and caught a bad break with Priest and Montez hitting me with big moves right after the other. And it's not like you're punishing Gabe here for losing. This isn't a punishment. It's about getting our priorities in alignment with our future goals. I get that, but I still want another chance. Let me prove to you that I can handle going after singles and tag championships. Again, you've got nothing to prove. Just hear me out. I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows, could even earn us a tag title rematch. Okay, let's see what happens. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. The following is a handicap match. Introducing first, representing Team Hardcore from Manhattan, New York, weighing in at 274 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Max The Savage. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A terrible bet? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but I just don't see how a handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions could end well for the ambitious rookie. Oh, that got turned around on Dawkins. Oh, vicious running knee lift. Oh, the stop. Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Makes it incredibly difficult to walk. Headlock. Ooh, cheap shot right above the eye. And the lock's maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to light the ship here. He's moving a little off balance. Release German! Continuing to work on the arm with a drop in the knee for more punishment. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Proving hard to keep up with. Return fire from Dawkins. Dawkins is pushing back now. Angelo weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. He's got him scouted. Enable the counter. Come on. And a carefully measured knee drop. Adios has the lock set of this. And that definitely made solid impact. He may get the three count right here. I think so. And that may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Max the Savage. I may have been skeptical, but the lock delivered the goods tonight. The lock has made a believer out of Corey Graves, everyone. Anything is possible. Hard to argue with another notch in the win column, especially one like that. So, what do you think? Can I handle going after singles and tag championships? Man, you just confirmed everything I thought about you. The lock is the real deal. But here's the thing. I'm sticking with the original plan. Gabe and I, we're gonna take the tag title rematch. But I got us the rematch by beating the Street Profits. By myself. And I appreciate that. I really do. You're out there like a boss, doing CEO things, and I love it. But let's stick to the plan. You're our singles guy, remember? And this way, we'll all have championships. It's a win-win. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think MVP's right. It makes more sense for us to pursue the tag titles while you focus on your singles run. Exactly. And for the Hurt Business to achieve greatness, we all need to be on the same page. Not that we aren't. Yeah, no, you're right. Both of you. I need to get my priorities straight. We're good here. And don't overthink any of this, because at the end of the day, it's just business. <laughs>